Okay, thank you very much, guys. It's Pro Graphics once again, and today I'm going to take you through how I edited this picture that I shot with my phone. And this picture was shot with um, Samsung Galaxy Note 8, and I edited it. So I'm going to take you through the walkthrough of how the editing was done from this particular image to this. Okay, to this. So you can see the difference from here to here so you can see that there's a lot of transformation and color grading that has gone through this particular image so let's start from here I'm gonna bring this ones okay then let me toggle all of them off like this so that you get to so as I always do when I start with the images what I do is I duplicate my image so you can see over here and let me bring this one down so when you look over here, there are a lot of stars that went on here. You can see, and this uh, same thing to this side. Okay, so after I duplicate my, duplicated my image, what happened is that I did frequency separation. So let me name this one FS. Okay, yes, I did a frequency separation over here, so you can see the high. So I worked on the face. So let me toggle that one. Okay. Then let me take this one off so that you get it better. Okay, this one coming on. So you can see I did the frequency separation. So that will be the before, okay, and the after the frequency separation. So when you look at the affix very well, you realize that. Let me zoom in so that you understand what I'm talking about. So that was before and that was after. That was before and that's after. So from that, I did a stamping layer. By pressing Alt Control Shift E, then I stamped it over here. Then I came to do a selective color. Okay, so let me double, double click it and see it over here. So I have the preset already. So you can see the reds. I manipulated the reds a little bit, and I manipulated the yellows, and I think the greens. Okay, I think it's the red and yellows that I manipulated. So from there, then I gave a skin tone. So you can see. Look at the skin. I gave a skin tone from there i also added a color look up to it and this color look up i've given the um, the preset out already so i did a color look up so from this color look up you can see over here this um, light skin lot i've given it out already then from there i came to the curves and adjustment layer i did this to add contrast to the image so from there what i did again was i created a stamping layer okay I created a stamping layer then I came over here but I, I went to camera raw and after camera raw I added some few filters to it in camera raw but there's something that I realized over here I realized that the legs over here okay it looks more brighter than the face so you can see that I have done some layer max work over here then from there I came to this side because I wanted to work on the skies, okay? I selected the skies and I created a layer max. So you can see this one. So you can name this one sky, okay? So after I done that, I did that, sorry. I downloaded this image, okay, from the internet. Then I placed it behind the subject so you can see, okay? So after that, I changed the blended option of this particular image into color. So that's how we got this and I did another stamping layer okay then I went to camera raw and I pushed the reds and I pushed the pinks okay so you can see here too I went back to camera raw and I pushed the blacks a little bit so you can see there's a whole lot of stuff that I've gone in here then I have this filter in my um, this my preset um, pro workflow X okay so I applied that filter Okay, that gives some kind of blur, sorry, uh, flare to the image. So I reduce it. Let me increase so that I can see it. Okay, so you can see that. But I reduce it to 60. So you can see. Then finally, finally, you can see I went back to camera raw. Then I added venetting to the image so that it will pop out because it was looking too flat. So over here, I did some teeth and I eye whitening over here so you can see the eyes are good then i place my logos on that so when you group all let's group all okay um, 
let, let, let me use the shortcut control G to group all. So when you group all, you can see that from here to here. And this one, if you tell someone that I even shot with a, um, a camera, and it was it was a JPEG image. I had wanted to shoot in RAW. I can shoot in RAW, but the settings skipped me. I thought that I've placed it in RAW so that I can get. It. And if it was in RAW, it might be sharper even than this. Okay, so. The last thing I'm going to do with this image before I bring it to an end is we are going to sharpen this image, then we process it, and that will be the end of the, today's walkthrough. So what we are going to do is we'll create another stamping layer by pressing Alt Control Shift E by creating a stamping layer, then Control J to duplicate it. Then we select the first one, and after we have selected this one, we come to um filter then we go to others okay then we go to high pass filter then because i don't want the sharpening to be too much i'm going to use 1.3 and after i've applied it and it's too much i'm going to reduce the opacity so i'll come to the blending options and i change the blending option to linear light so let's zoom in and see Okay, you can see that it's too sharp and it's obvious that it has been worked on. So what you are going to do, you are going to reduce the opacity of the sharpness. Okay. So let's see. Before, after, before, after. So this is how we sharpen images in Photoshop. So before, after, before, after. So I think we have sharpened this image and it looks better. So guys. If you really find this tutorial to be helpful, please don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel and always remember Elish Pro Graphics. Thank you very much and have a blessed day. Bye-bye.